Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. Now that canola harvest has wrapped up, we want to begin today by taking a look back at this year's crop. Here in Enid at the annual Oklahoma and Kansas Canola Conference. Standing room only at the Enid Event Center this week for the ninth annual Oklahoma, Kansas Winter Canola Conference, where most producers were in pretty good spirits. I think a lot of guys are excited about the crop and are looking forward to next year. It got put through the ringer this year and they kind of saw what it can do, so I think a little rain makes everyone a little bit happier. They're also happy to learn more about the rotational crop turned cash crop. Yeah, a lot of guys kind of refer to it as a win-win-win. Uh, the price on canola is significantly higher right now than wheat, so they're getting more uh, production on the canola. They're getting the rotation benefit. They're getting a cleaner wheat, uh, higher producing wheat following their canola crop, as well as cleaning up their fields, which is one of the reasons why we tried to grow in the crop before. So utilizing it in a crop rotation has been very beneficial to the region. Uh, there, there's very real economic benefits. The pie can get bigger. I think it's a good opportunity to gather with other producers and kind of, uh, you know, bounce, you know, different ideas off of each other. For one, the field is always, you know, growing in uh, as far as, you know, chemicals or fertilizer, different things like that. There's, you know, still discovering. You need to always try to grow. Uh, if not, you know, you're probably dying, so. And then, of course, things turned around for us in uh, April and May and a little bit in February. We, we learn something new every year, whether it's a new insect or it's, uh, a new disease or, or whether it's just dealing with Mother Nature. There's also talk here about canola varieties and how the plant will be developed in the years ahead. We need things that will survive the winter, that will produce um, very respectable yields, but also produce a lot of oil because ultimately that's what we're trying to grow. And it appears there will be plenty of continued growth in canola acreage in the future. Uh, we have a lot more attendees than we expected, so a uh, huge plus. Uh, a lot of interest from the growers, a lot of feedback, a lot of questions, so uh, overall I think it's been a very really good success. <laughs>